It's a pleasure to be here this morning in person to announce the grand prize winner of the 2022 International Biogenius Challenge. So what my project I did was I designed and developed a low cost and robust prosthetic arm for individuals with below the elbow amputations called transradial amputations. And despite them actually being a small portion of the amputee population, um, transradial amputations are sort of like a difficult slope to kind of overcome for biotechnicians because of the fact that the hand is so complex. And so what I did was I sought to investigate kind of why prosthetics today aren't achieving adequate functionality and why they're so expensive and then develop a low cost prosthetic that could achieve really high functionality with minimal amount of materials. Our overall grand prize winner is Zikwe Bell. Come on down. So how did you even think to do this? I mean, what was your inspiration behind this project? Yeah, so both my parents are engineers and I've always been really interested in bio. So I had the lucky experience of kind of being surrounded by technology, but then I was an organization volunteer for um, Billion Strong, which is this global disability organization. And through there, as like this kind of youth mentor, I get to speak to a lot of individuals with disabilities. And so I was on a Zoom call with a rehabilitation hospital, and I met an amputee who had kind of fallen off of his motorcycle and gotten gangrene. And so because of that infection, his arm had to be cut off. And so he talked about how $15,000 later and three months of rehabilitation later, he received a prosthetic and that it was painful and difficult to use. And so I thought, with the wealth of technology we have available to us today, why not create a solution? That's so, so amazing. Where are you hoping all of this takes you? I mean, do you see a future for yourself in the biotech industry? Yeah, I definitely hope so. I hope to kind of major in something biotech related. So perhaps a mixture of biomechanical engineering and computer science. So I'll have that research aspect and then perhaps like a minor in policy. It's a very ambitious kind of college experience, but I hope to really mix this science and technology that I'm so interested in 